I'm Paul Cascone, and today we're going to talk about something called the Y classification of zirconia. We understand that sometimes your dentist may call you and ask you a strange question. How much yttria is in my zirconia? The question is generally prompted when they have visited or heard of a clinician talking about 3Y zirconia, 5Y zirconia. These letters are a little strange because you generally don't see them on the zirconia packages. So we put together this little video to explain what that's all about. We generally will talk about weight percent yttria when we do show the yttria content. For those of you that have seen my other lectures, you know that the ISO standard for zirconia does not require any compositional information. In most cases, you'll see a weight percent yttria. For example, about 5.5% is present in Argonzy Ultra, Argonzy Aesthetic, Bruxer, or Nexer. The traditional uh, zirconias, the high strength zirconias that are used for porcelain uh, baking, have all 3Y zirconia. The 3Y is just another way of expressing how much yttria is in the zirconia. 3Y is a 3 mole percent. Mole percent is an engineering term. Don't worry yourself about what that means, except that the material has 5.5% yttria, about. In most cases, the uh, label will show you a range. And the range is because the ceramics cannot be made as exact as the alloys are. So a 5.5% weight percent yttria zirconia is a 3Y material. If we jump to the super translucent zirconias, like Argon Z Anterior or Bruxer Z Anterior. Now these are the 5Y zirconias. And 5Y is equivalent to about 9.3 weight percent. And again, on the label, you're gonna see somewhat of a range. Now our new zirconia, the HD Plus, is a 4Y zirconia. That means four mole percent zirconia, which is about 6.9 weight percent. So don't let the numbers uh, upset you. The numbers are associated with the amount of yttria in the material. It's just another way of expressing it. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to call or email us. And thank you very much for watching.